And there it is. Check it out. It is a 2000 Toyota with 167,000 miles and it runs. And there's not a whole lot of wrong with it, which is pretty amazing. Check the front end out. Really good shape. Little tiny fog lights. Probably have to deal with some tires. There's the back of it. This is a limited edition. It has uh, the frame is a little rusty on it, but nothing I can can't fix. You know, I will drive a limited Toyota 4Runner. These things are uh, getting pretty popular. And this is a 2000 model. There's a nice look at it on this side. The body is almost in perfect condition. So um, I stole this thing. For three hundred dollars, there's some amazing deals out there if you know how to look. The motor runs, transmission's great. Uh, they just got rid of it because they were getting worried about the frame. It had some places on it that was getting bad, which is not a big deal to fix for me. And this thing here is probably a three grand vehicle all day long. And I'll tell you what we'll do: we'll get it off the trailer and get a nicer look at it. But I wanted to show you the inside, how the seats look. They're in really good condition. I mean, considering that's just a little bit of dirt there. Carpet's in great shape. There's the top of it. It's even got a sunroof. There's a look at the dash real quick. Like I said, we'll get it off the ramp here and uh, off my trailer and we'll start it up. Back seats are in great condition. No tears. Good cleaning. And this thing is going to shine like a diamond. And uh, here's the back of it. And since it's up on the trail, I'll give you a look underneath. A little rusty, but not that bad. We'll clean that frame up, get some new paint on her, patch it, and have some fun with it. And there's the uh, driver's side. Everything works. Now, I know these are notorious for the head gaskets, but this one here, the engine runs just fine. Has good heat and all that. So let's get this thing off the trailer and give you a peek at the inside and start this thing up. All right, YouTubers, let's take a look at her. There she is. Got it off the ramp. Man, she's a good looking Toyota 4Runner. Wow. Looks even better off the ramp. I even aired up the back tires. A little loud, it's got an exhaust leak, the muffler's back. And this is, like I said, a limited Toyota. Let's look at the back here. And uh, look at this, pretty amazing, it's not rusted out. Kind of rarity to find anything like this, it's uh, not rusted out. And the supports even work, which is pretty amazing. And uh, carpet, pretty good shape. Got the little Forerunner badge there. And uh, Got the reclining seats, so she needs a good cleaning. The headliner's in really good shape. Got a trailer hitch. And uh, I really like how this sounds. When you shut this up, it sounds solid. It actually sounds more solid than some of the bigger SUVs that I've had. Wow. Oh, there's the uh, gas lid. Finally figured out how to open that a few minutes ago. And, uh... It's a new cap, by the way. They stuck on it. I'm not sure how I even opened it. There must be a button in here. Yeah, there's a button on the inside somewhere. I must have hit accidentally. So here's a look at the uh, inside here. Let me uh, unlock all the doors real quick here. Let's see. I think I have to put that one there. There we go. You can see the seats are in just pristine condition. I just cannot believe I got this thing for $300. <laughs> Cubby holders back here in the back. Ash tray. Kind of nice. Pockets in the back behind the seat. One time I found $1,200 in cash in a vehicle. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And uh, the door panels in really good shape. Rocker panels, look at that. Like I said, it's got some rust on the frame in a couple places I'm going to repair, but nothing too bad. Power seat. Airbag. Driver's side and passenger side. And there's a nice look at the radio. We're going to start this up. Now, it's a little loud. It's got an exhaust leak. This has got the 3.2. These are notorious for head gasket issues, but this one here seems to be okay. 
It's even got a fob key. I can lock it, but it won't unlock for some reason. And there's a heating system. I'll still turn the lights on here. I'm not sure how to get these uh, lights on yet. But I can kind of see what's going on there. And I, would, I thought there was a back a backlight for all this. If anybody has a forerunner, let me know if there's something I'm missing here. Perhaps I just don't have it turned on, the lights. Well, well, we'll deal with that later. But the heat does work. And you got to turn this to get the fan going, which is kind of hard to get used to. And uh, it's got a pretty decent radio. It's got an antenna that goes up and down. Let's see if it works. Turn it. Yeah, there it goes. Going down. Nice. All right, so I'm not going to make the video too long. Uh, I'll show you how many miles it got on right there. It looks like 160 something thousand. Uh, got to check engine light on. I'll have to check. Let's go ahead and listen to the engine. Listen to how good that engine sounded. It had a slight miss when I first started it, but. It seems to have gone away. Probably needs a little tune-up. Actually, this is a 33.4. All today, a real easy change. So she's going to get a good bath and everything. And there's a look at it with the uh, lights on. It's really nice. I've checked all the fluids. They seem to be pretty good. Let me show you how clean this oil is. Doesn't get much cleaner than that. Somebody's taking really good care of it. Of course, it's really hard in the Northeast to keep any vehicle rust-free. Uh, these are, I believe, 17-inch tires. Uh, gosh, uh, yep. It's like... No, actually 16s. 265, 70, 16. So these rims will clean up really nice. And what I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks is put it in the garage and start cleaning underneath of it. Patch the rust on the frame. The frame on the rust, or whatever I'm trying to say here. Rusty frame. Let's look on the driver's side. Look at that. Great rockers, no rust. Even under the doors, in great shape. Even under here, I've checked. It looks pretty good. And we got Forerunner manual, which is really just, these are nice to have. Wow, these are really nice. This came from uh, North Canton, Ohio, Toyota. Nice, I have to do some research on that. Of course, it's always interesting to go through paperwork and see what people have done to the vehicle. And someone has put, I don't know, something on here. It looks like a fuel cap. Oh, this is a fuel cap. But uh, I kind of like, what I really like, let me show you over here real quick. Uh, by the way, look at this uh, fake wood. I like that. <laughs> uh, what I do like. Now, I'm loyal to my Trailblazer. I will be driving it most of the winter. This is just something I'm going to fix up for somebody. That really needs something. Um, I like how the handle here is when you put it in drive. That's kind of nice. Nice, good feel. The all-wheel drive system here, you push a button on the side, then you'll get a light up here that lights up, and we hit the button there. And now we should have, let's see, there it is. It's an all-wheel drive. Now I can shift it down. There we go. There's four-wheel drive. And there's all-wheel drive off. Kind of nice. Got a cubby holder here. So I am really happy. I think I got a really good deal. I got a sunroof here. Like I said, it'll take a couple of weeks to go over this. And look here, a taco holder. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, lights work. Let's see. Heck yeah, we got lights here. So if you have a forerunner, let me know, guys, uh, what you think of these. Um, I'm going to have to see what the dash, how to turn the dash lights on. But uh, I got this off of a dealer. He didn't want to deal with it no more. He got it on a trade-in, and he, you know, I bought vehicles off of him before. It's good to have connections in the uh, auto world. So, uh, the oil looks good. The transmission is pretty good. It's dipsticks here. I can't get it out holding the camera. 
with one hand and doing this with the other. Uh, brakes are great. Uh, the ABS system here seems to be okay. Full brake pedal. Uh, you heard it run. So uh, I am really happy that I got this. I wasn't going to buy it, but when he told me $300, I just couldn't pass it up. Let me know if I'm crazy, okay? Comment in the section below. I'm going to start this up one more time, give you a nice look, listen at it. Nice. I'm kind of curious to see what the check engine light is, but no big deal. You can see the water temperature is right where it should be. And uh, we turn the all-wheel drive system off. There we go. Uh, and I like down here when you put it in park, reverse, neutral, how that lights up. That's nice. I like that. Interesting. And uh, wipers seem to work. All right, so I'm not going to make this video too much longer. I'm going to end it. But uh, you get the idea, guys. Uh, I think I got a pretty good deal here. Shut this off. Man, it's got a really nice stereo system in it, too. It's even got these little tweeters <laughs> in the door. And listen to how that door sounds. It sounds really solid. All right, guys. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned. I'll be working on it and show you what I'm going to be doing to it, cleaning up and all that good stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.